So this is the very, very first day of CLR's new journey into what is gonna be a really, really, really blessed future. So today, we're gonna go visit some barns down south of us around Sacramento area and we're going to see what their ideas for making their equine establishment successful have been. Now I don't know where you are or when you're watching this but right now in Sacramento and in San Francisco California there are crazy fires so if you look behind me it looks real gray and foggy but that is actually smoke that's not fog and so I just want to take a shot of the ranch I'm going to turn the camera around and here we are leaving and then I will get some more shots later so we're leaving. This is the ranch this morning. Everybody's loading in the truck. And um, we're just gonna go and I'm gonna film part of this journey. And I'm so glad that you're coming with us. All right, y'all, have a blessed day and we'll see you soon. Rango, come here. It's Rango. This is Rango. He's the ranch dog and he is a wire hair Jack Russell and he is wonderful, aren't you, Rango? You're wonderful. Good boy. And he loves rocks. About to go. There's Sylvie. Say hi. Sylvie. Hi. Hi. There's Melissa. Hi. hi. There's Heath. Say hi. Hola. So we are on our way. We're gonna go to these barns in the Sacramento area, and we're going to see what they're doing, and we're gonna get some really good ideas, and we're gonna take you along for the journey. So stick with us. Hi guys. So we're at coming up to our very first barn. And the person that we're gonna meet is named Kevin Reinig, and he has a world-class facility. And we're gonna take you and show you parts of Kevin's barn, and we're gonna get some ideas. And so, what are some of the things that you wanna learn from Kevin, Sylvie? Uh, just how he promotes his facilities and what he offers to his uh, public. Okay, and what about you, Melissa? I want to know what he looks for when he goes to a facility. Perfect. And how he judges um, where he stays and where he places his horses. Okay, so those are the questions that we're going to ask Kevin and we're going to take you along. So when you watch this video and you have comments for us, just please put them in the comment section below and I'll try to get those answered for you and we'll see what we find. So this is entering. Kevin's facility right here. Pretty fancy. Hopefully, while you guys are watching, we can make transitions that we find in this facility to our facility. So fancy. Just absolutely beautiful. He have, even has a couple of cows over there. Yeah. Coulter's Vegas Joe over there. That's a Colt's name. Let's take a little shot of Vegas Joe. See if I can get that in the shot here. Oh, look how sweet. Sorry about the bumps, guys. We are in the truck. It is busy today. I feel I'm here that I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> the word's out. So here we are, and this is just an absolutely beautiful facility that we're touring today. Look at this place. This is incredible. Successful horse management right here. Look at them, oh, beautiful. Everybody. Well, we just left Kevin Reinig's at KEMF, and that was a beautiful place. I'm sure you've seen it, and we got lots of good ideas. Speaking of good ideas, Sylvie, what do you think was your biggest takeaway from Kevin's visit? Uh, the appearance of his place is just amazing, and I was really surprised on 
the size of the pastures and what exactly is required to make people happy, um, which was a lot smaller scale than what I anticipated. Okay, and what about you, Melissa? Um, I kind of had the same thoughts as mom. The pasture sizes for turnouts and stuff, I was thinking on a much larger scale, and now I think we can do a lot more with our place than what I had anticipated. Perfect, perfect. Heath, what was your takeaway? Well, Kevin just had some good ideas about layovers and the, tra and the show traffic coming from uh, Southern California to Washington and Oregon, and it's something that I hadn't thought about before. Yeah, I think that those are all really usable and great ideas that are easily executable for the facility that we um, are working with. And so it's going to be really exciting to take the ideas that we've learned from Kevin and, in, and put them in place at CLR Ranch. And so when you look at the ranch, when you come and visit, when you send horses, you're gonna understand that from watching these videos that these are where the ideas came from. It's not just one person's idea, but it's what you can harvest from everybody around you. We're gonna go next to a retirement facility for horses, and this is gonna be something very interesting because none of us have any awareness or knowledge of how to operate a retirement equine facility, so this should be exciting. So we are almost to the retirement facility that we're gonna to come to tour, but we got here a little bit late and the owner can't meet with us, so we're just gonna do a drive-by. And so we may not get what we wanted to get from this facility tour because we can only drive by it. Um, so what now that the plans have changed, Sylvia, what do you think that you're gonna look for in this facility? Again, the size of their runs, uh, their entrance, their appeal, their roadside appeal. I'm coming to judgment that that is an important issue. Yep. Okay. And what about you, Melissa? Um, pin size, how they have, how many horses they have per pin. Um, just kind of how they have it laid out. Do they have? Spacing between their runs, are they able to get to each other over the fence, stuff like that. Okay, all right, and Heath, what do you think? Uh, kind of the same thing. I was curious about how many horses they put in each run, um, what kind of shading that they're using in there, um, water, everything that they have um, to, to attract the clients that they, that they do from the uh, San Francisco area, which we know they're fairly particular show jumping horses that come this way. So like to see what they're what what draws them this far over okay sorry about the bumps guys road is um in need of some california highway reconstruction okay so this is the landscape and it's fairly similar to where we are it looks a little bit flatter but not flatter there aren't big huge hills but there are little tiny hills everywhere so um but the landscape looks fairly similar so this is really doable for the facility that we have and I will film when we come to the gate. And so this is what is offered for most horses from the San Francisco Bay Area coming into retirement. So, um, so this looks like a very doable venture for what we have available to us. So we're just gonna drive around a little bit and see what we can see. And there's just a little barn here. Yep. And just some curls. Jumper arena. Little jumper arena. All right, guys, so we will catch you on the flip side.
Okay, so we just visited that um, retirement facility and all of us have really figured out that we have a shot in this game. We definitely have a shot to make retirement something that we can do for the equine industry, for the horse industry. So Sylvie just said that the wheels are really spinning in her mind. So Sylvie, what are some of those thoughts that you have right now? Well, I'm thinking that we could be a lot more inviting for the people from the big cities to have a place safe, uh, shelter, green grass, also a place where there's a lot of things for them to come if they ever want to come and visit their horses, come out and do in our area. So it's not just for the horses benefit, but also for their owners. What kind of things um, would you send the owners to do? Oh, to go visit our, our lake. It's a beautiful lake. Um, our, we're right by the Sacramento River. We, we have Mount Shasta, we have Mount Lassen. We have everything all year, all, all year round that is available for people to come and do. Yep. Within an hour and a half at the most. And who else has got ideas? Do you guys have any ideas running through your head now that we've seen these two places? Melissa? I have lots. You do? Yeah. Okay, like one? Um, I think that opening our place up to these retirement horses and horses that are laid off for injury it's going to be a huge thing for us we have the availability to help take care of these horses and maintain them at a fairly high level to watch their nutrition to make sure they're fed well to make sure that they live out that happy life after being used and performed and giving their all we can give back to them and keep them happy and comfortable right right what about you Heath? do you have any ideas thoughts just, just see him this. I mean, there's a lot of people who can offer a place for a horse to stay, right? But a lot of this is about marketing, and so you have to have referrals. You have to go out and actually work out. And you know, she obviously has a referral base that they're they're taking people from San Francisco. So we have we have an area that's very accessible from San Francisco, straight up I five, no rough roads to get to, um, on the way to shows, so people can visit their horses. Uh, there's there's a lot of um, good things about the location of CLR equine, so that's where I see out of it. Me too. I think that. Um, uh oh. I think that we have such an amazing opportunity, a diamond in the rough at CLR Equine because we are so close to the highway and it's just a straight shot. We're close to the highway without having the big city feel, without being in a big city, having all of the nature and the beauty that California has to offer. We have great weather all the time and this would be a great opportunity for us to house retirement horses um, as well as conditioning and rehabbing horses. So it's gonna be really exciting. So we're gonna wrap up our little trip. We're just gonna drive home. And if there's anything exciting, of course I'll film it. But, um, but stick with us as we take this journey from what we are now to what we're gonna become and bring your horses to CLR Equine for sure.